so look, there's been a lot of discussion about uh, the issues that were needed in the black community for the last uh, years, but particularly it intensified after the George Floyd situation. And uh, you know, you saw a lot of people who were just virtue signaling. They'd go on Instagram and cry, or they would you know, put a slogan on their jersey or write something on a basketball court. And quite frankly, that was doing more to polarize the country than it was to bring people forward. Say what? Jared, by the George Floyd situation, you mean where the whole world watched a video of a man face down on an asphalt road being choked to death by the weight of a police officer with his knee on George Floyd's neck for nine minutes? Say what? Virtue signaling. What are you talking about, Willis? Did Jared's silver spoon birth forget to teach him about empathy? Boy, you might want to pause the video and read the definition of virtue signaling. It certainly is a lot bigger than its name. Jared, someone died in the George Floyd situation. That someone was someone's son. That someone was someone's brother. That someone was someone's father. That someone was someone's uncle. That someone was someone's friend. Anyone with a shred of humanity felt grief for the death of George Floyd. And so many did go on social media to express this grief because that is what people do when they have felt a loss. We need justice for George Floyd. We all witnessed his murder in broad daylight. We're broken and we're disgusted. We cannot normalize this pain. And I'm not only speaking to people of color. If you're white, black, brown, or anything in between, I'm sure you feel hopeless by the racism going on in America right now. No more senseless killings of human beings. No more seeing people of color as less than human. We can no longer look away. George is all of our family and humanity. He's our family because he's a fellow American. There have been too many times that we've seen these violent killings and no consequences. Yes, someone's been charged, but justice is far from being achieved. Please sign a petition and continue to pray for peace, and compassion, and healing for our country. Thank you so much. Quite frankly, it is your father-in-law, Jarrett, that is doing more to polarize the country than putting a slogan on a jersey or putting a slogan on a basketball court. Yes, Jared Kushner is highly qualified to be a White House senior advisor, even though he was unable to obtain security clearance by way of the proper channels. Jared Kushner got his top secret security clearance through nepotism. Thanks to his father and his father-in-law, he is well-versed in white-collar crime. Ever wonder why Chris Christie never had a place in the Trump administration? I love this meme. Really, think about it. If six of the 12 key speakers at the presidential election convention had the same last name as the leader of the country, your party might just be floating into North Korean territory. The friends at the Fox and Friends, Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, and Laura Ingram were overly concerned about Hunter Biden not being qualified for a job as a PR guy to an oil company only getting the position because of his dad. President Obama has got game. To hit the basketball court and when it came to shooting his shot, he was nothing but that. The only thing the Trump can do is shoot game. Shouldn't senior White House advisors take responsibility for what is happening in America? No, taking a key from the president, the litigator in chief, they will litigate. And back in the Southern District of New York, President Trump may get 
far more than he bargained for as the president as he is being investigated for felony crimes such as tax fraud and bank fraud. Currently, Trump's former attorney and fixer, Michael Cohen, is serving out a three-year sentence on home arrest for committing the same crimes as Trump, many of them at the direction of the president. The herd mentality of the reality TV audience has a blind eye and a deaf ear when it comes to actual reality. Ignorance is the problem. Knowledge is the solution. Play Imagine by John Lennon every day and keep those words in your heart.